P.M. Mathis is your global indie author distributor who is the CEO of Pew Partners. Her message is a global one that your voice matters. And P.M. helps her audience through her encouraging words and inspiring action of doing what she encouraged others to do. Using your voice because it matters. Her conversational approach to sharing her message makes her a relevant voice that cuts through the noise of uncertainty, of self-worth, self-value, and self-awareness. That shuts down the they say stuff that keep you stuck. Get ready for some transformational words of wisdom. This intro has been brought to you by the soulful sounds of Kessa in their new album, Summer of Sound, with the title track, Revealed. The most selfish thing you can do in this world is help someone else. Did you know that? Hey guys, do me a quick favor and hit the like and do the share button for me. And then, as I always like to say, subscribe, like, and share. And so, hey guys, this is Pam again on your Tuned In Tuesday. So, you know, I like to come on here just for, you know, a quick moment to just kind of share with you how to stay, you know, current and present, how to continue on and stay consistent, um, put in the time, and before you know it, whatever you're putting your hand to will prosper and it will become the thing that you envisioned the thing that rests on your heart and the thing that will give the rest of the world some joy okay so you know i like to give you five points i don't like to keep you too long because i know hey we all got something to do and we are in the holiday season so we don't have a lot of time but just a quick reminder because we you know we still gotta continue on during the holidays right so the first point so I just told you the most selfish thing that you could do is serve others. So you're probably saying, well, how, Pam, is that selfish? Well, it's selfish in this way because by helping someone else, it gives you the ability to feel good, to feel satisfied, to know that you are serving other people, brings success back to you. You know the saying, what you give, you will receive. And while you're working on somebody else's situation, God is working on yours. So that's how you, you gain by serving. You gain by knowing that you have added value to somebody else's life. And it's just a little pat on the back to you to say, oh my God, how well am I doing right now? Right? Okay, so point number two. Greatness can be built. Believe what you say and watch your words work. You've got to know that you know that you know that I'm sure you've heard me say that before. That what you're doing, what you're adding, the value that you give, that you yourself is enough. And that if you continue on just by serving, just by showing up, just by speaking words of encouragement just by you know lending a helping hand you that is how greatness is built why because then you become a resource that people can trust and that they can rely on it's not just your words you're actually showing up with action okay point number three be thankful in advance for what is already yours you know, this is such, you know, for those of us who believe this is such a great um, promise that those things that we are grateful for will continually show up to show up. You know that, you know, you've heard the saying about imagine it, speak it out, and that's what your world will become. So if you spend the time investing in and in stopping and looking around and thinking through what you've already accomplished what um, is already yours all you can do is be thankful and all you can do is be grateful hey guys it's pm mathis your global indie author distributor and i want to encourage you to pick up a book my first one is Your God's Love Story. The second one is A Daddy You Can Hold My Hand. The third one is Ordinary Princess. 
I have four ebooks that are available on the Amazon Kindle. The first one is called Tolerance, No Thanks to Toxic Person, Place, or Situation. The second book is 10 Considerations for Staying Focused, but Less You Get More. The third book is called The Day It Was All About My Feelings. The fourth book is Behind My Eyes. I am encouraging you guys to pick up a book and read and enjoy your little bitty self. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Point number four. Do not focus on the failure. Focus on the function of the failure. So that just simply means that <clears throat> a lot of times you fail before you succeed. And if you never give yourself an opportunity to fail, you won't ever know what success looks like. Because everything that you try, <laughs> I'm afraid, is not going to work out the way that you wanted it to. I wish that wasn't so, but it is, right? Because I am one who likes to do one and done. But what I found one and done is not conducive to a consistent, productive life if I'm trying to make a big, huge splash or make a big difference in the world. Because it takes a lot of little pieces. It takes learning a lot of little things in order to carve out that space and time for you to show up the way that you want to to be recognized by the world the way you want to takes a little bit of time takes a lot of effort takes some failure to gain lots of successes and then finally point number five you succeed on your own when you are not obligated to others know that your dream is going to take a lot of just you not a lot of cheering section, not a lot of support, not a lot of, you know, if you're a business builder, not a lot of buying your stuff from those that you know, not a lot of believing in your dream. And if you're a community contributor and you're trying to raise something or, or be a spotlight in the community, it's going to take effort trying to get people to get on board with you and to see the vision and to make that vision plain, to make it come to pass is going to take a true belief in what you know to be true, a true belief in doing the hard work, putting that in, spending the time um, encouraging and motivating yourself, um, saying words of affirmation because it truly is your dream. You're just trying to get people to come on board with you. So guys, remember to subscribe, like, and share. Hit that notification bell if what I'm saying to you has been beneficial. You know I like to come on here and have conversations with you in, in the midst of a week and just to encourage you to keep on because you are doing great things and be, before you know it, success will be yours. Also want to remind you to look in the description because your girl is creating a digital um, imprint where I encourage and motivate, it, motivate and inspire you you know along your journey so i'm creating some um, products and services that will serve you um, on your journey as i encourage you during the week these are things that you can take with you you know and do at your own pace and at your own time so remember i live to serve you and that i love you and that as always 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 i want you to always be blessed okay i'll talk to you later PM, who serves you through Pew Partners, wants to thank you for spending this time with her today. PM is always honored to have you stop by and be a part of the conversation. Do not forget to reach out to her at her website, www.pewpartners.wix.com forward slash PM Mathis. While you're there, you can join the mailing list to receive free material that will encourage and inspire you to use your voice because it matters. And while you're on the website, shop around. Her ebook, her books, courses, and her store are there for you to enjoy. Once again, PM, serving you through Pew Partners, wants to thank you from the bottom of her heart. And as she always says, I love you and live to serve you. Be blessed. This outro has been brought to you by the Soulful Sounds of Kessa and their new album, Summer of Sound, with the title track revealed.